Hey, hey again. We have a pretty big class here today. I think we've reached the turning point. We have everyone back. Miha's here training, making his comeback after his life-threatening. Oh, oh, we just missed the Satan. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. We've been doing a lot of promotions lately. Sunshine was promoted. Miha has been a brown belt for seven years. Easily seven years. And Miha is a very special human being because he has the ability to be so disciplined that he can accomplish anything. That's his superpower. And it's something that he taught me, this incredible tool of discipline and just how much you can accomplish if you really focus on something and stop watching TV or playing video games and all of this stuff is just like entertainment. So I'll say that a little bit in my speech when we promote Miha to Black Belt. I'm very excited. One of these. It's gonna be good. He's gonna be stoked. I hope he doesn't say something cringy. So today, if you cannot pull guard, you must go for takedowns. What's that? What if you're injured? You can pull guard. Takedown. Actually being applied. I just hold it down. <laughs> wow! Stop catching me on camera. Do you like it? Stop it! R.I.P. MF Doom. This custom Legion gear. <laughs> See that Cornelius family crest on there? Truth without fear. That's what it's all about. These sleeves are a throwback to the early 2000s Keiko geese that I used to wear. I always really liked these type of sleeves. They don't have the same uh, fold in them. It's just a, a layer of fabric around it. And so it doesn't create that same cuff. You can see it doesn't fold over. Most geese fold over like this and provide an awesome handle. But this style is a sort of a gi innovation. And this is a two panel top. This is the, um, I forgot what weave this is called, but this is actually supposed to be diamond weave, the judo style that I like. They just messed up on this particular set. But yeah, be on the lookout. This will be for sale on Jiu Jitsu X in the next couple weeks, I'd say. technique more so than the aggression and trying to train hard and the little tricks and tactics you need to think about the strategy the most important thing is discipline and discipline was always something that I actually struggled with believe it or not I was disciplined in my training on the mats but I wasn't necessarily disciplined off the mats and some things jiu-jitsu can't teach you jiu-jitsu can teach you how to be a man or a woman and take responsibility of your own actions Take responsibility of your own ego, treating others with respect and treating yourself and your body with respect. Those are things that are just naturally imparted to you. It doesn't have to be said by the coach. It doesn't have to be on the wall with like a list of 10 commandments of jiu-jitsu. That's something that the art itself just intrinsically 
passes on to you. And I think that's something that makes jiu-jitsu very beautiful, is its ability to teach you how to be a good person through just a martial art. However, we as a community of people that are friends, we hang out with each other off the mats and we can learn a lot from each other because each of you has different strengths and weaknesses. And it's our job to try to help, help each other with our weaknesses and support each other's strengths. And for me, there was one person that really taught me so much off the mats about discipline. And I learned so much on the mats with him because I saw that same discipline he applied to his life off the mats. I could see he was really trying to apply it into jiu-jitsu as well. So for me, this is kind of an emotional moment for me, but I just want to give Mihan his black belt. So, Miha and I started working together around 2016, I think, I met him. I was just training very hard, but, and I was trying to set something up for myself that was off the competition mats with my website and instru instruction online. Um, and I knew a little bit about marketing and sales from previous experience with other professionals. When I met Miha, it really turned my life around from just kind of going through the motions of my daily life and training and competing and just thinking that's what I was always gonna do to like opening my mind up to the possibilities of what you can accomplish when you really set your focus on something. And at first it taught me to focus myself and focus my energy on something and that was liberating to say the least, but what Miha really taught me is how a collective of people can set their focus on something. And when you have a group of people all rowing in the same direction, focusing on the same goals, you can build something really beautiful, as you can see here. So, Miha, it was my honor and pleasure. Yeah, this is a, it's a pretty emotional moment for me, but uh, I have to say that this, this belt, uh, as much as it symbolizes, it doesn't mean that much to me. Wait, <laughs> I'll, I'll elaborate. It doesn't mean that much because when I started training jiu-jitsu, I came from judo. My goal was first of all to do MMA and I wanted to see how well I can fight, how well I can fight against another person. And just luck would have it that I ended up uh, training in a jiu-jitsu club and I realized pretty quickly that jiu-jitsu is actually what I want to do. And it's all, what it's always been about for me is if me and a person go into a room and we agree to not strike, who's going to be the better grappler. And that's why I've never fixated on any belt that I've received so far. However, where I started training in, in a small town in Slovenia, for me to envision to be standing here today and to receive my black belt from this man here, that, that's something that I could never have imagined. And during this journey, I've met so many people, struck up so many friendships and just literally learned everything about life from jiu-jitsu and it makes me the person that I am, the friend that I am, the husband that I am, everything I have I have to like, I owe it to jiu-jitsu but to have ended up here creating this with Keenan and with all of you people that means everything to me. Would you like to say a few words? Um, just very well deserved. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and it's just a pleasure to have you here. Especially, it makes me look better because you're the scariest role, in my opinion. Out of everybody in this room, <laughs> you're one of the roles that is the scariest. Even when you're in not the best position, I know just because of your your grit and your ability to fight through adversity that if you get out, I'm in trouble. So even holding good position on Miha is a scary thing. And I think that a lot of times people's personality comes out in their jiu-jitsu. The way people roll is very much how they are. And I mean, you embody that completely just in how you carry yourself in everyday life. So very well deserved. All right, Thanks. guys, clap it up one last time for me.